All right, fam, guess who's back? Jay Sinners Productions back again, hitting you with the finale in the GMA GSO2F, that's the Golf Sierra 02 Foxtrot Christmas giveaway build, sponsored by your boy Jay Sinners Productions, Icons RC, and H Tech Customs, with a little help from Radio Link. And here she is. So stick around so you can hear about the final details, take a quick look and an overview of everything we've done. And to do that, you know we have to pay those bills. So uh, go ahead, roll that intro footage. All right, fam, thanks for coming back. Really appreciate you. And let me tell you, this has been a very fun, little taxing, but rewarding build. And I want to thank each and every one of you for sticking around, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel so maybe you can get in on this GMA Buffalo with the custom paint job in orange and silver by my man, Icons RC. So let's not make this too long. Let's just go over a few of the things that we've done to the GMA Buffalo and give you a few pictures and shots so you can see exactly what's been taking place over these past few weeks. So to start out with, of course, we got the GMA Buffalo Golf Sierra 02 Foxtrot kit that we built from the ground up. And to build that kit, we had to get a few more parts to make it look just like we wanted to before we give it off to the winner. So we've got all the lights from G-Made, the G-Made Golf Mic Alpha 30171 6 volt front bumper fog LED light kit. So you got a front bumper LED light bar. You also have the G-Made Golf Mic Alpha 30169 roof rack. LED light bar. In addition to the front bumper light bar, you also have a golf mic 30170 front bumper LEDs. And those are the two LEDs on the outside of the front bumper. So on the bumper alone, you've got three LED systems, one light bar, two LED single lights. And on the roof rack, you have another LED light bar. And then to round everything off, we also have the G-Made Golf Mic 30055 front and rear LED light kit. Now normally in the rear, you have a set of red and a set of white LED lights. Well, one of the white LED lights burnt out, so I had to re-solder, well, excuse me, we had to, I had to clip the white LEDs and re-solder some yellow ones on there. So now whoever received this vehicle will be one of the few and probably the only individual who has red and yellow rear LED lights. In addition to all the lights, we went ahead and bought the GMA 3327 overdrive gearing. And this will give you a 22% increase in the wheel spin up front so you can make much tighter, more accurate turns if you're going on the trail or if you're trying to crawl. HTAC Customs, of course, threw in the 1.9 all aluminum bead locks, which we're going to include with the vehicle along with the stock wheels and tires. So if you decide to change it out and you want to go with a different wheel or go with a black wheel look, or you want to keep the aluminums looking pretty, hey, you'll have a choice of wheels and tires. And to wrap those HTEC 1.9s, we went with the Duratrax C3 Scalar CR tires. And I went with this particular tire because I like the tread pattern and it look, gives it a more street plus a little off-road look. Maybe not so much of the knobby look of your traditional rock crawlers, but this is the look I was going for and I think it works well with this vehicle. And the power of this baby, we chose a very simple but unique setup and that is the Hobby Wing Fusion 1800 KV all-in-one motor and ESC combo. So that gives it all the power that you need to run this vehicle. Very quiet, brushless system. I think you'll love it. In addition, we went with the Radio Link Romeo Charlie 6 Golf Sierra Victor 2. That's the RC6 GS V2 transmitter and receiver combo. The transmitter is already paired up to the receiver and I've went ahead and set the endpoints for the 20, excuse me, two speed transmission, which we use a 25 kilogram servo for the two speed transmission and a 25 kilogram servo for the steering. I've already programmed the receiver again, like I said, for the endpoints for the two speed transmission. And I've already programmed the cruise control function 
for this vehicle. So you can just press one button. You have to worry about the trigger anymore. And then you can focus entirely on the steering with a set speed already programmed into con to the controller. So whoever receives this is going to get a excellent vehicle right out of the box. The only thing that you will have to do as far as installing this is of course installing the body and two, I'm going to remove all the wheels and tires. Everything's going to be packaged up in bags. And that's pretty much it fam. Pretty much everything you see is how you're going to receive the vehicle. The only thing that you will have to supply on your own are of course a set of batteries for the transmitter and a LiPo battery for the vehicle. And I have the battery tray set up for a larger battery, but you can bring in the ends to set it up for a smaller battery. And again, this is a brushless system. I did all the testing with the 3S battery. I did not drive this outside because again, that is for the privilege of the winner. But I do want to show you live how the lights look. And then I'll overlay some more pictures that I took of the GM8 with the lights on so that you're not totally blinded by this. So let me pop a battery in, cut it on, and let you see. All right, fam, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all lit up. Before I do, let me just clarify something I said earlier. Although I did not drive this or run this outside at all, I did run it downstairs in the basement on the floor just so I could get the steering trim set, set the cruise control, and things of that nature. So it has been ran, just not outside again. That's to the privilege and honor of whoever wins this. So moving on, got a test battery in, 3S LiPo. We're going to take a look at the lights. I will over, overlay some other photos so you're not totally blinded. So let's go ahead and turn it around. And then up front, you can see we have our roof rack lamp LED light bar. We have our front bumper LED light bar, two LED fog lamps on the front bumper, plus one, two, three, four front lamps. And in the rear, we have the red and the yellow rear lamps. They do not function with your stop and start, so they're constantly on. And as a side note, the LEDs on the bumper and on the roof rack will be constant on based off of the power consumption they need. So these are not fed directly into the receiver. These are receiving their power from the ESC and the battery. The front headlights and the rear tail lights will get their power once the receiver is powered on. So those are your lights lit up real nice. She looks real good from the front and back. This is a great kit, beautiful kit. Customize it any way you want to. And again, thanks to Icons RC for this dope orange with a little yellow gold sunburst in it when the sun hits it just right. Beautiful color scheme. I did not apply any decals to the vehicle. The decals will be provided to you if you want to put them on. Go right ahead, have fun with it. I wanted to leave a little customization options for the winner so that they can customize this any way they so choose to. So let me cut the lights off and we're gonna wrap this up, talk about some other good stuff, and then talk about when we're gonna draw or pick the winner for this Buffalo. Let's move out. All right, fam, and there you have it. GMA Buffalo, Golf Sierra 02 Foxtrot, Radio Link, RC6GS version 2, Hobby Wing Fusion 1800KV motor, HTEC Customs, all aluminum bead lock wheels, Duratrax C3 Scalar CR tires, custom paint job by Icons RC, full LED light kit all around. It's going to go to one winner. And that winner will be chosen on the 26th of November. That is a Friday. 26 November. This may be done live. It may be done in a recorded video. Stay tuned because the winner will be drawn 26 November for this GMA Buffalo. And as always, fam, do you, be you, and always stay true. I am Jay of Jay Sinister Productions, exiting stage left. Jay Sinister Productions. Jay Sinister Productions.